Yes, girl. It's a wine thing. That was amazing. <laughs> Good finds. Yes. I love you. Hello, thank you for Starbucks today. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good today. Can I get started, please? Um, can I get a medium iced vanilla latte with light ice? Perfect. Thank you. Amazing and perfect. Can I get two straws as well? Thank you so much. Have a good day. Deja vu. If you watched last week's video, is this a little bit of deja vu? Me getting coffee in the car and then going thrifting. I love it for me, honestly, I'm very excited. So if you missed last week's video, I did a thrift with me video. My friend Jalen and I were having a hard time finding like actual good things. Like I did find some good things, but like when I go thrifting, like I wanna go hard. So in the video, I asked my subscribers, you guys, for some suggestions on where you go thrifting if you live in Minnesota. And let me tell you, you guys are, do people say the plug anymore? Is that a saying? Well, you guys hooked me up. You gave me 20 plus suggestions on where to go. So we will be going to quite a few of those today. Um, we are at the very first location. It's Arcs uh, Value Village, maybe? I see my friend MJ waiting for me right now. So my friend MJ is joining us today. Again, very excited to get some girl time. I'm excited to see what we'll get. This is the subscriber's name who suggested this location. So shout out to you. Thank you so much. And she's walking over to me. So I gotta go. Let's go. My girl, MJ. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Seventy-nine cents, you guys. I'm obsessed. Whoever suggested this, I love you. Okay, let's go. Okay, we gotta get a card, you guys. It's too good. There we go. What a trend. Love it. Perfect for your elopement. Yeah, exactly. This is my wedding dress. A fabulous semi annual clearance sale. We love that. I have to be honest, I'm a little overwhelmed here. There's just so much stuff and like not a lot of cute stuff, if I'm being honest. This is like. Your mom's thrift store. Yeah, like, I'm not finding any trendy stuff, like no trendy brands. The thing we is- We did is find like, a couple cute blazers. We did, they just didn't fit right. Thing is, is like you see Target stuff, and there's a Target shirt, but it's listed. It's listed for like 650, and you can find that at Same Target thing. for 10 bucks. I'm like, I would just buy it new, in exactly. my opinion. We're looking, we're trying. Okay guys, there's a whole like furniture section. Are all turnstiles this big? Not that I've seen. So we've successfully found one thing. Does it have any purpose? No, but it's stinking cute. It's definitely beat up, so we're gonna probably paint it black. So cute. Okay, so honest review of that last place. A turnstile is very similar to a Plato's closet, I guess. It's overwhelmingly big. I did not have a good experience there. Um. Okay, now I'm trying to find the next location. So that was the Richfield turnstile. Let me call MJ quick. Hey. Uh, Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry, I'm putting it on my car. Okay, hi, can you hear me? I can, where are we going? Okay, so you suggested, let me actually take you off my car speaker because it sounds horrid. Okay, so you suggested Unique Thrift? New House and Burnsville. Burnsville's really out of the way. <laughs> okay. Okay, love ya, see you there. <laughs> The first place was amazing. I loved it, which was the Value Village. Oh, she is moving. Okay. The Value Village was amazing. Turnstile, not my fave. 
So now we are not going to vlog and drive. So I'm going to go, but we are on our way to the third place, which is Buffalo Exchange. So I'll see you there. They fit. Do they? Yeah. Buy them. You think? Yes. Are they cute? Yes. Yeah. Are you kidding me? They're only 28 bucks. What do they retail for? 85 normally. 28? We'll take it. Show the bottom. Brand yeah. new. Brand spanking new. We love it. If only they were her size. Who is a six and a half? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> you can't even see her mouse. I love her. Originally, we were gonna go to Smile Back, Smile Back yeah. which she saw on TikTok and it looks super cute. I actually saw their TikTok um, a while ago as well. They're only open like Thursday to Sunday. Today's yeah. Wednesday. So, doesn't work. But now, Urban Jungle, which I think I've been here before, and it's- I've heard of it. So, oh, is it? See. I was in fact correct. That place was super spendy. It's like the things that you're looking for when you go to a thrift store, but like the entire store is like the good things you're looking for and the prices cranked up, which I appreciate um, a business person. It was very cool in there, but we're thrifting today. You know, we want to save some money. All right, we are at our fifth location. I think we've got one more after this. That if sounds right. If it's open, I know stuff is starting to close. My hair is crazy. Um, the sun is setting. <laughs> We're gonna probably do this one and then maybe one more. Maybe not, we'll see. Sorry, mom. I didn't have my mask up. Sorry, mom. <laughs> we are going to Everyday People and this suggestion was brought to us by Grace. So shout out to you, Grace. I feel like, <laughs> why do I feel like Mr. Rogers or something? <laughs> there we go. Everyday People, we are here. Let's go. Before the sun goes down, can you take a photo of me in front of that green wall? Absolutely. Yeah, well. No worries, I got you. I belong, I belong Hello! Your dog, dog is so cute! <laughs> <laughs> okay, take two. Ah. <laughs> Not even begin to tell you guys how obsessed I am with you guys after going to these stores I put all my trust and faith in you guys that you guys know what's up so the very first store was the Arx Valley Village or however you want to pronounce it I got those black plates I also got these pants so they do look a little big but I like my loungewear sets to be baggy they are so unbelievably soft you guys I can't even begin to describe it when I found these it honestly reminds me of like the skims fuzzy like comfy sets that she sells it is a light pink I think this would be super cute with just like a little sports bra like one of like the more cute let me just show you what I mean so I was trying to describe it and then I'm like just get your lazy butt up and show them but like these little tops like how cute just lounging around the house so these were only $3.99. I am obsessed. I'm definitely gonna be wearing these all the time. So then the second store we went to was the Turnstile in Richfield. I get overwhelmed when there's a ton of stuff, which it's funny because the comment said that it was very small, but in my opinion, that place was huge. Like the biggest place we went to, it was just overwhelming. And like everything on the racks, like you could only move it a little bit. Like that's how much the racks were like exploding with things. So I didn't find any clothing there, but I did find that little, um, I think it's honestly in my car, in my car still somewhere. Clothes pin, safety pin. Here's the video clip of it. This is what I found. I wanna put it in my future office. I think it's super stinking cute. A little home decor tip that I have for you guys. 
just buy the little samples of like the wall paint and you can use that to do your thrift flips. Don't use acrylic paint that you'd find at like Michaels or Target. Like actually go get wall paint, but get the samples. It's like less than five bucks for a little sample. I'm gonna make it more of like a pink or, you know, more boho vibes. The third store was Buffalo Exchange. And I have to be honest with you guys, I truly think that this was my favorite store that we went to in this whole haul. Speaking of those little free people bralettes, I found this one, obsessed with this color. These normally range from like 20 to $25. This was $11. I think as girls, we all know if you buy something for your significant other, it just becomes like an oversized piece for you as well. Another life hack is buy something that you would also wear. This, totally gonna steal and wear all the time. I believe it was around $10 and I'm 99.9% .9 positive that somebody DIY'd this themselves and would look so cute with this underneath, right? High-waisted baggy jeans. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> I've been watching Bridgerton. Can you tell with the way that I was like, oh, okay, I hate myself. Um, I also got this flannel for my fiance at the very first location. I am failing YouTubing right now. And this was only $5.99. Remember my last video, if you watched it, I was like, this whole video was worth it because I found the I'll just show you, they're right here still. <laughs> because I found these Doc Martens for my son for only $7 when they retail for like 70 or something. This whole haul was worth it because I found these. I've always kind of been like a Nike girl. That's such a lie. Why did I say that? I have been a Converse girl. I have always had my eye on like this style. I think it's so cute. Like I said before, these are brand spanking new. Like. Not a speck of dirt on the bottom of these. Um, we looked and they retail for $85. I got them brand new for $28. We love that. Everyday people. I have never been to a thrift store with better denim choices than this store. So I did show you guys in a little clip me looking at these like high-waisted, I think they were Levi jeans. Oh, they were beautiful. I tried them on. They did fit well. I've said this before in videos. But if you eat a fat meal and you have to unbutton your pants, I hate that. So I just want a little bit of like, a little bit of room. I am the type of girl that like bloats up a little bit after I eat a meal. So I was looking for jeans just a little bit bigger and I did find some. They sadly weren't like beautiful, high-waisted mom Levi jeans. But if you guys know me, I have way too many pairs of jeans anyways. I did find these from Madewell um, for only $15. And I know that place is so expensive. They're high-waisted, they have like the distressed knees and the distressed bottoms. So now I have more high-waisted fitted jeans. Super cute. And then I got these. These are Ralph Lauren, I believe. But these ones you already saw on me when I was in the dressing room. Super distressed, super cute. It does have a little bit of a risque slit, but it is under the booty cheek, so I feel like it's still appropriate. It's just a little thigh moment. So super obsessed with these. It's a little distressed on the bottom. That is everything I got in this haul. I cannot even begin to thank you guys for your suggestions. So if you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So sadly, we were only able to make it to five locations out of like the 20 plus suggestions. Comment down below if you have any other thrift store suggestions in Minnesota. I hope you guys have a blessed week. And if you didn't already realize, my new posting day is gonna be Saturday. So see you guys next time, bye.